Have you ever experienced that feeling when you put some files on download from Chrome and they downloaded to the wrong folder? And then you had to spend 30 minutes of your day just going through these files and manually dragging and dropping them. Well, I have to. And today I'm going to show you how to change that. But before I tell you about that, let's talk about our sponsor. No, 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 no. Our sponsors. You may already know the sponsors of today's video. The like and subscribe button. Well, anyway, on to the video. As I was saying, to change the default download folder, you have to open your Chrome settings and then click on the advanced section. There you will find a subsection named downloads. That is where we want to go if you haven't already noticed. In downloads, there will be two settings that you can change. The first one will have an option named change, not that change, but when you click that it will bring up your file explorer and then you can select a new folder from there. So right now I'm going to create a new test folder for the purpose of this video. Now that I have created it, you can see that the folder is selected. Now when I download a file, it should go into that test folder. So you can see I'm downloading this file. It's downloading. And now when I go into that test folder, the file is right there. The other one is a bit different. If you toggle it on, whenever you download something from Chrome, it will prompt you and ask you where to download it. It can be really useful if you have to go through lots of different files which are of different types, you know, uh, when you have an audio file and then a video file of something else and then you have a word file of something else. So if you have to deal with lots of files of different types, then this feature is for you. Alright, now I have turned this option on and as you can see, I'm clicking download and now my file explorer has come up asking me where I want to save this file. Just a point that you need to note is that this can be quite irritating because it asks for every file. If you have any questions about the topic, you can ask in the comments.